नमस्ते जय हिंद एंड वेलकम टू दिस एडिशन ऑफ द राइट स्टैंड आई एम ऑन सुमन एंड वी आर कमिंग टू यू लाइव फ्रॉम द सी एन एन न्यूज एटीन एंड फेडरल बैंक प्राइम टाइम स्टूडियो We join you at this edition this Tuesday edition with more news around the K charge that now is planning is perhaps going to compound problems for the Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal close on the heels just about 24 hours ago here on this show we put out the details of the contents of the letter that's been now sent by the LG to the home secretary recommending an NIA probe and uh, investigation into this matter In this edition, we begin and we get you some more news. Uh, after the Delhi, after the request for a probe into the charges against Mr. Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party, with their links to Khalistan backers, K sympathizers, and receiving funding to the extent of an alleged 16 million dollars between 2014 and 2022, we've got our group editor, security, sharing some more exclusive details on what are the claims that are likely to be investigated. is there going to be an fir by the nia very very soon is there going to be a deep dive into the transactions and the monies that have been received by the aam aadmi party in this set period especially from overseas big questions because these are the claims that have been made by gurpat wan panun and cnn news 18 has access the nia pro bangles into mr kejriwal's link with khalistani elements or secessionist elements based on the allegations made by gurpatwan panun a wanted terrorist a designated terrorist a wanted man who is uh, operating and plying his wares of anti india activities from us soil now what are these allegations and why they have credence despite this person being a designated terrorist by the indian authorities because he is a case sympathizer and he is an active proponent of secession of bharat and the breaking of bharat and he is the one who said that we or k sympathizers and k sympathizer entities various entities actually supported arvind kejriwal and the aam aadmi party because of an assurance that was received from them we financially supported them to help them come to power in a state like punjab and that's the reason why and there he is actually turning around and saying these are the allegations this is the trail of the money and that's why perhaps some level of credence did this actually happen and needs to be investigated although these are all unsubstantiated allegations what are the allegations financial support in lieu of foreign uh, operators babar khalsa international again designated terrorist opera, uh, outfits khalistani outfits secessionist outfits they are being helped to get back to india or come back into bharat so this was the kind of quid pro quo you pay us we will fund you you facilitate their reentry money allegedly was transferred through hawala by the then aam aadmi party mp's contact that's the first charge now the second exclusive input that we have and that's breaking this evening on the right stand cnn news 18 has access the nia probe angles based on allegations made by panun alleged west coast funding has also come through via pro khalistan groups an alleged meeting took place at stockton gurdwara sahib 2 and a half to 4 million dollars were allegedly transferred via hawala after this meeting at a stockton gurdwara 2 and a half to 4 million dollars were transferred via hawala and this is a period is between 2014 and 2019 ladies and gentlemen alleged transfer with the help of a senior punjab police official somewhere in the rank of an adgp is what has been alleged also a third input that we are breaking here on this alleged link of arvind kejriwal and the aam aadmi party with khalistan sympathizers and khalistan idea backers secessionist backers or entities your channel is access the nia pro bangle number 3 based on allegations made by gurpatwan panun pro khalistan groups of freemont gurdwara another gurdwara allegedly helped donate money no information on how this alleged transfer of funds was made into bharat but the sum was significant sum was significant and here's what nia sources are further telling your channel investigations are on to the allegations made by gurpatwan panun the agencies are aware they say proper investigation is required 
because there is a hint or smack of a money trail that's come from these case sympathizer entities into the Amadmi party and towards Mr. Kejriwal's benefit. It may not be $16 million, it may be more or it may be much lesser. But whatever money, if it has come as a quid pro quo, then should that not be investigated and what does that then imply? What the agencies are saying is they need to explore if Mr. Kejriwal played deliberately or unknowingly into the hands of entities who had the support or who were linked with Gurpatwan Panun. Breaking input 5, top intelligence sources are telling uh, CNN News 80 that the NIA will be asked to probe the Kejriwal K link properly and proper investigation is imperative into these serious allegations. We are given to understand here at CNN News 18 that very soon the NIA will be filing an FIR after receiving the reference from the Ministry of Home Affairs. So the MHA is apprised of the matter. So between March, when we first told you that there could be serious implications and serious in, uh, investigations into the charges made against the Ahmadmi Party and Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, and this day, the 7th of May, within a month and a half, ladies and gentlemen, this entire issue is coming towards an NIA probe, a deep dive into the finances and the links of Ahmadmi Party leaders, including Mr. Kejriwal and known Khalistani sympathizers. Now, why is there credence to the allegations made by a terrorist or wanted terrorist? This first question that comes to mind because that person himself is a secessionist and a case sympathizer. And many people linked to Gurpatwan Panum have been seen in photographs or with Ahmadmi Party leaders. So Ahmadmi Party leaders have been photographed breaking bread, engaging, meeting, sharing uh, curtsies and also pictures and they themselves have posted these pictures with these kind of people who have allegedly sent money to Ahmadmi Party for a quid pro quo and they are also connected, linked with Gurpatwan Panun. That's how this entire aspect of credibility of claims of a wanted terrorist is being addressed. Anand Ranganathan, Dr. Anand Ranganathan, author, analyst, political commentator with us, Sardar R.P. Singh, national spokesperson of the BJP with us, Puneet Zani, activist also with us, and Piyush Joshi, political analyst, and questioning the actions of the LG and this entire intent, which the Aam Aadmi Party has rubbished, called the LG a BJP agent and said this is nothing but a political witch hunt. On a day where Mr. Kejriwal has not yet got relief from the top court in the liquor scam comes these allegations which are now likely to be probed via an FIR by the NIA itself. They are just waiting for a reference from the MHA and that could happen very soon and you are hearing it first here on CNN News 18. Puneet Sani, let me start with you. The Fremont Gurdwara, the Stockton Gurdwara, these are entities that have been named by Gurpatwan Panun. Is there a link between those who have been photographed engaging with AAP leaders and these leaders, these case sympathizers and Gurpatwan Panun? Why should there be any credence to the claims made by a wanted terrorist? Namaste, Anand Bhai. Namaste. So, I, what you said, I'll just give you two points. So, when Kejriwal came in New York, you know, so Fremont is on the west coast. When he came to the east coast, he visited this Richmond Hill Gurdwara. Jee. And the thing is, Richmond Hill Gurdwara, I tell you, you know, recently this uh, GBS Hindu, he wrote this book, Khalistan Conspiracy. Hmm. And he says he was in charge of Mrs. Gandhi's security. And in 1982, the Khalistanis tried to assassinate her. And I know that person who tried. His name is Fauja Singh Bans. And a few months later, hmm. he, you know, shot at the Indian consulate in Toronto and he went to prison for 14 years. But anyways, this this place where he went, it's like going to Hakaniya Madarsa. He should have never gone there, Kejriwal. And this is a fact. This is not an allegation. He came to a Gurdwara, like I give you, tell you, Anand Bhai, six are a fraction of one percent. And they are distributed all over America. This one Gurdwara, Richmond Hill Gurdwara, if you go through the archives of New York Times, and I have published it so many times, it has come so many times for violence. Violence against Sikhs. And so many times they have not been able to find out why there was fire, why somebody died. But the time that the police have been able to find out, yes, this person did it. This one Gurdwara is, I think, four or five times I've given the archives. It has made the New York Times. Just imagine New York Times is so important. It has to cover the entire nation. 
and Sikhs are a total uh, fraction of 1% in entire America. And Kejriwal visited this. And I tell you the second thing. There is a guy, his name is Baltej Pannu. Baltej Pannu is, I think uh, he's a, a Canadian citizen. He is like a OCI holder. He's not an Indian. He right now, he is basically the media advisor and in a way guiding Bhagwant Maan in Punjab. And if you do like uh, Baltej Pannu, he's a known Khalistani. And the thing is, there was a, a YouTube journalist of Punjab, his name was Hajindan Thakkar. When he brought out all these facts that how come a Khalistani and he's not even a citizen, how come he's in like Bhagwant Maan, almost like a cabinet position, he's guiding him. That Bhagwant Maan said the police and I think a couple of weeks ago, you know, he, he was, uh, what do you say, uh, thrown into the prison by Bhagwant Maan government. And the last point, uh, Anandji, I would say, you know, this area where, where Kejriwal came and there are pictures of him where he visited. Hmm. It's such a den of Khalistanis that like last week when the Jathe Dara Vakal tak, which would be like the equivalent of the Sikh po, when he came here and he wanted to participate in, you know, like a Sikh day parade here, you know, the the Punjabi newspaper reported it and I, I, I also put it on tweet, you know, they didn't let him. So this area that is a den of Khalistanis, that, you know, decent people refrain from going there. You can actually even on Twitter, if you do Richmond Hill Gurdwara, you can find videos where they are indoctrinating people. Uh, little children like they do in Madarsas. So this is what is, what what the hell was Kejriwal doing here? Mm. This Richmond Hill aspect has also been claimed and it's mentioned in the LG's letter. It's mentioned in the concern letter that has been written by Mr. Arshu and also where it quotes Munish Raizada who has put these pictures and said that the Richmond Hill Gurdwara meeting did happen. There is also this aspect of UK and Preet Gill known uh, Khalistan sympathizer who is also engaged with Sikhs for Justice with whom Mr. Raghav Chadda's picture has been uh, found on, on, on social media, especially when Mr. Chadda has gone over to the, to the UK for an eye surgery. So these are all aspects that these names of these leaders have come through and there are photo ops of Amadbi party leaders with all of them. The Vidhan Sabha speaker of Punjab Assembly has been seen breaking bread with a K sympathizer. Now does that mean that they have met okay. these people? And does that equally imply that they have taken money from them? That is subject to investigation. But these entities, these people who have been seen with AAP leaders in the West Coast, in the East Coast and in Canada and in the UK, they have openly endorsed, backed and had affiliation with Gurpatwan Panun. Piyush Joshi, your response before I bring in Sardar R.P. Singh and Dr. Ranganathan. Yes, you put your hand up. Yes, please. You know, after uh, seeing your introductory remarks, uh, I am just reminded of one share, you know, by Bashir Badr Sahib. Bade shock se mera ghar jala, koi aanch na tuch pe aayegi, ye zubaan kisi ne khareed li, ye kalam kisi ki gulam hai. You already made up your mind, you know, that what narrative you are going to put. Be careful when you put this kind of narrative. You know, what narrative are you putting? You are saying that the convener of a national party, a party which is which is running government in two states, with duly, uh, duly elected governments they are running, you know, are hand in glove with, uh, with, with the terrorist organization. Same thing was said before the Punjab elections were done. And, you know, a letter somehow emerges. Many of the BJP leaders and then Congress leaders also tweeted those that particular letter. Uh, you know, this organization was same, Six for Justice. And the letter was claiming that they have demanded, they have asked the people of Punjab to support the Amadmi party. Now, what happened to that letter? That letter was again proven to be fake. Now, as far as pictures are being concerned, that someone is photographed with someone. Deep Siddhu, who was that man? Deep Siddhu, he was, was, was he or wasn't he photographed with the Prime Minister of the country? Do, do you remember that kind of thing? What mm. kind of narrative are you bringing? You cannot defeat Amadi Party in the elections in Delhi. You cannot defeat Amadi Party in elections in Punjab. So you will go to all lengths. You, you know, the, 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 the profanity with, with the Bharti Janta Party and the Ministry of Home Affairs and the left and government is working. You have, it, is, it is just unparalleled in the history of India. You know, you cannot, you cannot just go on and and and, and say that this this, this uh, chief minister, the the convener of a national party, is hand in glove with the terrorist organization without without having substantial proof. Hmm. And on 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 whose statements are you basing the investigation? A person who's who's anti-India, a person who's a separatist, a person who's a Khalistani supporter, just because he comes up and puts on a video tomorrow, let's say a lashkar e toiba terrorist or Hafi Saeed puts on a video and says that I I, I have funded the Bharti Janta Party and I am I am demanding support for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Would you you would you start investigating Bharti Janta Party and uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi? Look, Please, come on, you know, we, we, we can be in opposition, we, we, we can have difference of ideas, but to stoop 
to this this particular level is is just is just amazing is just uh, disturbing and uh, it is unparalleled and it is setting new examples it is setting new lows like the prime minister speech day by day is doing so i all i can say investigate all you want you know whatever you want to investigate investigate at the end of the day you are going to find nothing but you are destroying the fabric of the country you are destroying the fabric of the democracy hmm. you are trying to kill the opposition and you are you are, you are, you are just trying to bury the opposition deep down hmm. so that 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 is my take and I, I've just given you three points. Investigate Deep Sidhu being photographed with the Prime Minister of the country. Will you investigate? Does the NIA has, has, has enough courage to investigate that how Deep Sidhu was photographed with the Prime Minister and then he goes on and uh, uh, on 26th of January uh, uh, hmm. disgrace the tricolor? Okay. Did, 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 did you ever think of investigating this? Sardar, Sardar, come on, come on, Sardar, come on. Sardar R.P. Singh, respond. Alan, uh, the point is not merely statement of a man. What follows after that statement, that is a bigger issue. Statement is one part. You just showed the picture of uh, Pultar Singh Sanwan. The other picture is on the screen now. Pultar Singh Sanwan with Harjit Singh Bawa, a known stabbed Khalistani. And Mr. Pultar Singh Sanwan knows who he is. And, and that meeting, that lunch was organized. Uh, by the people of the sympathizer of the AMRP party in Canada. When I went to Pakistan uh, some a year and a half back, I ensured that I should not meet anyone there who can be close to anyone who are associated with the Khalistani elements. And they would love to come and do that and take a picture and then use that picture. But here, man is sharing lunch with the uh, uh, the person. He is being honored by Harjit Singh. Uh, Harjit Singh. Uh, and, and 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 he's hmm. enjoying that honor, that one part. Now, second picture which you have shown today is of uh, Raghav Chattaji. Uh, he has gone for a eye treatment. We pray for his early recovery. Uh, I've been told that he has uh, a problem uh, without his eye surgery also. But during that whole of the stay in UK, please go through his social media handle. There's only one picture he has posted, and that picture is with Preet Kaur Gill. Now, please. Go through the uh, social media handle of Preet Kaur Gill also. He has been openly propagating and supporting Khalistan. He is known for funding Khalistanis. He is known for that. And now you stand with that lady and have a picture and then you post that picture also. So this clearly shows that it's a pay of time. You, you, you yeah. took uh, money or you took you took advantages, whatever. I mean, this need to be investigated. But once uh, the investigation will come to know more about it, but you took advantages and then you are trying to pay them back by showing, uh, taking pictures and putting them on social media, sending a message to element in Punjab and across the world that we are with mm. you. We stand by the Khalistani idea. That's the, that's the, pro that's the issue. The issue is not merely set for justice. I, I can understand that that man uh, is a Khalistani and he would have seek such certain promises, he would have funded uh, Kejriwal and Kejriwal would have made those promises also. And he would not have fulfilled those promises. Uh, let me put it very clearly also, Dundar Paul Singh uh, is suffering from mental disease from some 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 disease mm. from 12 years and, and he's in hospital from last 12 years. I mean, that's a separate point. But the major concern is that are you continuing with See, none of sir you, you, you have to also say that mr buller uh, the devinder pal singh buller's family has not apologized for the 93 blast one secondly secondly prime minister narendra modi's meeting or photo with deep sidhu has been quoted by Piyush joshi did did the prime minister take a photo with deep sidhu knowing fully well that he was a khalistan backer or after he created the ruckus in delhi or was this picture of before standing next to the prime minister no, no, what, no, no, no. was this uh -huh. answer the question that is important the important question is did he did the prime minister click this picture before deep sidhu turned out or showed his true colors or after wow. that one Secondly, the, the, I'll tell you the reason why. Because, sir, the Ahmadni Party leaders have gone to the US, they have gone to Richmond Hill Gurdwara, they have gone to Stockton Gurdwara, they have gone to Fremont Gurdwara, and they have gone and met Preet Kaur Gil. They have met knowing fully well who they are and what their antecedents are and what the, what the background of that area is. So, when you do something with full cognizance of your action 
and the other aspect is when somebody stands next to you and you take a picture and you don't even know who that person is or you do not know the true antecedents of that person and that comes to be revealed later on there are two different aspects so you can continue to show the pm's picture but answer this question to yourself and before you make an argument that's what and it's quite rich coming from the aam aadmi party that you are saying that you cannot blame anybody based on mere allegation the entire facade of delhi around sheila dikshit and beyond that was based on pure allegations and today the aam aadmi party is allying with the same delhi, congress delhi party the for the delhi Anandji. elections lok sabha elections the with the same Anandji, congress party so quite rich coming from you when you try and show when you try and teach Anandji. propriety to others Anandji. and probity Anandji. to others sir i'm the so you have you have the right to make your point i have the right to make my observation no 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 please please without please. substantial proof sir do sir, you the, fact the, is, sir the, you the fact is sir the fact is sir the fact is sir the same aam aadmi party blamed the congress What? party for the 1984 massacre of sikhs and today you are hand in glove with them in the same very delhi so quite rich when you talk sir, about probity probity and and walking the talk walking the talk so it's quite rich coming from an aap sympathizer but dr ranganathan one minute sir dr ranganathan two points raised the deep siddhu part second why should i believe a terrorist why should the nia probe the claims of a terrorist against the sitting chief minister uh good evening my fellow panelists i have been very patiently watching the debate and i hope i will be interrupted there are two issues here and i think both uh, need delving into number one yes let us agree with uh, the aap spokesperson or the sympathizer that uh, the lieutenant governor of delhi is a bjp stooge modi is shameless modi is corrupt modi is alleging something it's wrong he's biased he wants to put the opposition in jail let's let's accept that do you know something more than any other party it is the opposition party congress that is accused the aam aadmi party and kejriwal of being soft on terror and being in cahoots with the khalistanis from captain to channi the congress has gone hammer and tongs at kejriwal on this issue the captain on june 30th 2016 claimed aap got funding from wso canadian khalistanis on june 16 2018 accused aap leaders of supporting referendum 2020 initiated by the khalistanis and on february 20th 2022 even directly claimed a kejriwal pannu and sfj nexus but now that the congress and aap are in alliance the congress has shamelessly gone on quiet besides why would you blindly trust a man who none other than the high court has claimed conspired to use and conceal the proceeds of crime or was it modi who claimed this remember how it took a month to nab amrit pal singh anand what is happening in punjab is scary hmm. damn all this politics let's talk about national security anand i am a child of the 80s and i remember how we thought then that we had lost punjab forever until kps gill came along sadly we don't have any kps gills anymore there is no doubt that punjab government is proving itself to be wholly inept at handling the law and order in the border state if it isn't the daily drone attacks the drug mafia murders the blasphemy killings it is police stations being run over by khalistani separatists and anarchists and not able to nab a khalistani for a month and when you do nab him he is inside a gurdwara the situation is exacerbated by lack of physical coordination between state and central forces made even worse because of the nasty political fights between aam aadmi party and the bjp to top it all the isi of course it would is working tirelessly to create a compact between the kashmiri and the sikh diaspora on and let there be no doubt there are forces both internal and external that want to foment trouble in punjab and aap is sitting back at best and supporting them at worst and the external forces have media as their weapon Look, do you recall or have you forgotten the fact about the guardian dollops of lies peddled in that recent guardian piece that claimed that khalistani terrorist panun had been killed while the guy is still alive but please this is one something else. yes coming please, to please 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 give me 10 seconds this is about hypocrisy the fact that you have people like canadian prime minister justin trudeau and his father who refused to hand over ai one to bombers including the reddit tennis parmar and the reason was that india is not differential enough to the queen fast forward to 2023 and justin trudeau just like his father did 3 decades ago is cow tying to khalistani terrorists just to placate his increasingly influential vote bank the fact of the matter is the moment we go out and actively try and preempt these evil terrorists all hell breaks loose now has aap got donations from abroad yes from canada and the uk yes 
So why should it not be investigated? Should it be investigated? Yes. But enough of my answering yes or no. 10, 10 seconds. I want to ask the AAP sympathizer PUG dot sub one question. Has yes and no question. Has Kejriwal ever called Bhinderwale a terrorist? Answer yes or no. Piyush Joshi. You will talk Can to Kejriwal <laughs> once, you know, and I am sure he will say that Bhinderwale was a terrorist for, for, the, for the country. So oh, do not so, worry about so it. In, okay. In so, so, no, 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 Anand, I did not interrupt you. You know, you had a lot. Are Baba, you you had a long you had a long monologue, Ananji. I did not interrupt you. I was I was patiently reading. And now, can you can you please let me respond? All I am trying to say here, you know, when you talk about Amrit Pal Singh, where is the where is Amrit Pal Singh right now? Is he is he in the jail of Punjab or is he in the jail of Assam? So that speaks volumes about the Home Ministry and the Punjab government's coordination when it comes to national security. How many protests did take place and in the state of Punjab state after issue? the arrest of Amrit Pal Singh? How many is people got the support issue? of Amrit Pal Singh? Bhagwant Maan handled the Amrit Pal issue very, 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 very tactfully and very, very successfully. You wow. know, Amrit Pal Singh and, wow. and the way it was handled without without any support in, in, in favor of Amrit Pal. It was not only important to arrest Amrit Pal, it was important to destroy the idea of Amrit Pal as a, as a Sikh guru. And that's what he did, you know. That he he was trying to brand brand himself as 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 you know a leader of six and that is what Bhagwant Man destroyed there. What are you talking about when it comes to the interest of the uh, interest of the nation? When it comes no, to the no, interest of Bharat and please India? Please so I, I have huge very, respect for you. My simple my simple question is let us let us let us let us let us let us, let us say let us no, no, one, 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 minute, one, one, one minute just sir. one counter to Ananji. Ananji said that whether the Ramadhi party is the United me. States of America and Canada. Hmm. Under the Indian law, it is illegal to get international funds. Or it, is, it, 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 it is not possible for okay. an international entity here to is my to any political party. Here is a small Ramadhi flashback. So here is a flaw flashback. Days. And I am I'm subject to correction here. 2015, 2016, if my memory serves me right, the Ahmadmi Party had claimed that it will put all its receipt of funds when it was trying to crowd fund ahead of the Punjab elections, that we will put all the list of funds and where we are getting the money online. We will declare it in public. We did. We One did. minute. Why did you stop it, we sir? Did. The answer to the question. The answer. Sir, the, the answer, the answer, sir, the answer to that, not just the notice. The source of funds, there were entries that were ca that came, A, that looked dubious, B, the monies were coming from abroad, especially from the US and from Canada, and the allegation of Khalistani money coming into this or K money coming to this started then, in 2015. It, it is not now, it is then, and the entries and this receipt of money is from a period of 2014 to 2022, not as of May 2024. That's also there. So, yeah, now Anand Ranganathan is also Anand showing something now. Anand whoever is showing videos, whoever is making claims, it's their responsibility. Party. Final, final, everybody, Aam, Aam, everybody Aam, wants Aam, to say something. party sets new fundraising record for Canada. Dr. Saab, you've been proven woefully wrong. Please apologize on national television. I have huge no, respect for you. Okay. For no, no, this is again, this is again article. This is again story. This is all is there on record, sir. It's all on record. And that's why within the next, just like the liquor policy was changed or it was reversed in within 24 hours of the CBI announcing a probe. Within 20 hour notices, the, the number stopped. The number stopped. The, the entire de declaration of uh, front stopped. Okay. Puneet Sani and uh, R.P. Singh, quickly. Yes. What is the funding? You know, it's just like so. The bravest son, maybe of Bharat Mata, is Bitta, and we were talking about Bullard. So you know, this Bullard, his case is being cited by Mukul Rothagi, who charges 25 lakhs a sitting. And you know, they are and this Bitta, who has you know suffered so many bombs. Do you know last time he went, he put eight lakh of his own personal money to go to the court. This is the price we have, and I tell you, there is another Sikh research in the institute which is like, you know, all they are doing it. They published about Manoj Chahal, you know, like he was a great, like I, Puneet Sani has to correct them on his own time and time that Manoj Chahal here is a report, you know, he used to rape Sikh women, you know, abduct Sikh girls from their house. And when he died, he's completely Sikh will they celebrated Diwali. So I am just saying, okay, this politics is fine, but this is the cost that you have to suffer and, you know, pay. If you are a Sikh, you, you fight because we are such a callous country. In this country, nobody is supporting Bitta. Bitta is paying his own money in court despite suffering so many bomb blasts on his body. And Mukul Rothak is fighting this case of bombers and all the family of the bombers are in Canada right now.
Hmm. That's again a travesty. Sardar R.P. Singh, final word, have to wind up. Well, my only question is... Just Peter one comment. Uh, after R.P. Singh, yeah. Well, I have only one question for Mr. Piyush Yoshi. Has Mr. Kejriwal or any of his board uh, committee members ever condemned the Sikh for justice or Pannu or said that we had nothing to do with the statement made by Pannu? Has they distanced themselves from Pannu? No. Till date, there is not a single statement mm -hmm. yeah. by Kejriwal. So many Yoshi times. I never intervened. I, I mean, you will have, you can have three done after me. So, uh, this is on record and I again state let Mr. Deep said Bindravala. I mean, he has not condemned Bindravala, Bindravala ever. But I state that he has not even condemned uh, Sikh for Justice Pannu also. But that point aside, what about the pictures of Mr. Raghav Chatta with Preet Kaur Gill? Only picture he has posted during his visit on, in, in UK. See, but uh, the, 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 the question, sir, sir there is... Sir, Joshi, sir. Yeah, please respond. I'm just yes, saying, yes, 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 when you point. know yes, somebody yes. is a case sympathizer, yet you meet that person, you break bread with that person in the case of the Vidhan Sabha speaker, and okay, you engage now. in the gut of case sympathizers, knowing fully well Baba. where you're going, okay. then there's Ananji. a concern. Yeah, Ananji, yeah. when we talk about Bindrawala, uh, you know, there's BJP spokesperson by the name of Manjinder Jeet Singh Sirsa. Hmm. Sirsa sahab, kya bolte? Sirsa sahab always, you know, say, uh, and he, he has been very vocal about it, that Bindrawala is his hero. Hmm. That is not me speaking, that is the BJP's official spokesperson. <laughs> Hmm. You know, that ki Bindrawala is my hero. So when you question Kejriwal, and I am sure uh, Singh Sahib must be having his lunch and dinner with Sirsa Sahib once in a while. Hmm. So what are we talking about? Between Manjinder Singh, Sirsa and R.P. Singh, if it should be a problem, then Arvind Kejriwal and uh, breaking bread with uh, at, at Richmond Hill I, and at Fremont should be I a far bigger said, problem. I, then then Raghav Chadda meeting Preet Kaur Gill will be a far greater problem because she has declared herself to be a Khalistani sympathizer who believes that there should be land that should be broken away from Bharat. It's her declared statement, sir. It's her declared statement as a labor leader. The other... No, no. Then, sir, then... Then in that case, sir, the Vidhan Sabha speaker, being a Sikh himself, has gone ahead and broken bread with somebody who's a case sympathizer, who believes that Bharat should be broken. Forget whether Bindran Wale was a terrorist or not, but who believes this is a state and the AAP leaders have gone ahead and posted pictures of them. So what should that imply? I'll, I'll park it there. We've got to take a break. We're running over on this debate. We've got more ground to cover. Uh, Dr. Ranganathan stays on with us, but Puneet Sani, R.P. Singh and Piyush Joshi, thank you very much. We're going to take a very short break. When we come back here on the CNN News 18 and Federal Bank Primetime Studio, we hope to be able to have a quick chat with the former Special Public Prosecutor Ujwal Nikam and uh, get him to answer the allegation made against him by SM Mushrif and also Vijay Vadattiwa. Stay with us.